So now that the 90 day countdown to crowdfunding for Changelings has begun, I thought what better way to spend today than to do a little location scouting, something that uh, I actually really enjoy doing. So uh, in any case, uh I went up to Fraser Park, California today to do a little location scouting for Changelings. Things are finally starting to get rolling with um, the short film. They were kind of uh, on stall for a while, trying to deal with getting back to work and uh, some other stuff like the holidays and whatnot. So yeah, we're getting back into the, into the swing of things and went to Fraser Park, California. It was a random, totally spur of the moment thing. I thought that um, I just wanted to get started doing something. I think, uh, and in the spirit of that, uh, I am going to be doing something for the next 90 straight days in order to just try to get this channel moving, get uh, Changelings moving, inject some discipline into the, this producing process for Changelings. I'm going to make a video blog or a diary every day for the next 90 days up until the crowdfunding begins for Changelings. And today begins with this uh, location scout with Fraser Park. Oh boy. So Fraser Park is up uh, in the mountain areas of um, Kern County and it's beautiful up there. Uh, I think it's over like 5,000 feet. And at this time of the year, you know, as you approach up the five freeway, you get, you know, still, we have these rolling, huge rolling green hills up the grapevine. I think it's all farmland. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, so I got to um, one up to five today. It's about 70 miles north of Los Angeles. It's um, just north of Ojai. Fraser is a mountain town. It's uh, about about 5,000 feet. You know, thankfully, um, I felt like it was a, a small miracle today. There was zero traffic going up to Fraser, so it took maybe an hour to get up there because I think I was speeding the whole way like a moron. But I got there and uh, as I approach, there is a line of cars like a few miles long. I was determined not to sit in this line for the next hour, so I cheated a little bit and well. So I was able to skirt the line. I guess uh, us Americans aren't as good as waiting in queues like our British cousins. I finally make it to Fraser Park and I knew that it was a small town. I think it's less than 3,000 people population, but it has the look of a town that I'd want to shoot in. It just feels very, um, feels very rural, feels very lived in. People dress differently, everything smells differently. It's a beautiful little town. And at this stage of the weather, you know, this season, winter, it's all the trees, they look like little fingers crawling into the sky. And it just has this perfect horror movie kind of feel to it. I think what it is, is uh, a lot of empty streets. It's not very busy. Like in the city, like, you know, in Hollywood or uh, in downtown, there are people everywhere, it's crazy. But in these small towns, the absence of people, the absence of noise, it, it's unsettling, especially when you, you know, you're coming from a city. Uh, to, to be in a region that's so quiet, you know, you hear every little thing. And that's what's great about movies that take place in the woods and whatnot. Like any branch that cracks is a, is a potential threat somewhere out in the darkness. And yeah. so Fraser, you get into town, it's, a, it's practically a one town street. Uh, I had a delicious patty melt at, I think it's Big John's uh, Bar and Grill, or I kind of felt like more like a diner, but started exploring the town it's, and it's like one main road, uh, maybe two main roads that are paved and every offshoot from that is a dirt road. It just had a, such a great feel. And the best part about being in a town like that is that you realize that and it really can inform the writing. I mean, I consider this as much research for my writing as I do research for shooting the actual film, like where we're physically gonna shoot it. You know, so the town, because it has this very rural, very unfinished sort of feel, which I love, there are a lot of old structures. There's a lot of very old timey sort of, I don't know if they're replicas, but like old west structures. And there's a lot of double wide trailer home uh, homes up there. So there's this weird hodgepodge of architecture that um, just 
it's just strange. And uh, because in the city, things are pretty uniform. And so I like all the variety that was happening in in uh, Fraser Park. There's like a lot, just a lot to shoot. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of, there's a lot you could do with a setting like that. And it really, it gets me thinking about how I want to rewrite the characters. Um, I kind of feel like I know after visiting Fraser Park, which I, I think that I want to explore further shooting there, but if not Fraser Park, some place else that's a bit more out of the way, because it'll inform everything about the character. You know, now I want to go back to the script and change all the costuming. I want to try to pepper in some actual locations that exist in uh, Fraser Park, just to make the script feel like part of an environment, to make everything feel lived in. And um, I, I want to go back and try to get some settings and really research the location to, so that I can really ground Changelings in reality. And I think that's one of the things that I really want to pursue with Changelings is um, I, I want to make it as well, realistic isn't the right word, but as lived in as possible. Like, um, you know, I want to shoot on location. I don't really want to shoot on stages. I would love to find a town and then just shoot the hell out of that town and really make a movie feel really lived in. Like it just, it, it's meant to exist in that place. And there are so many little great details in uh, the town that I would just love to show. Going up to Fraser Park today was a real treat. I'm definitely gonna go back up again. My girlfriend wants to go with me. There's a tiny little motel there. I mean, it's like four doors. It's like super tiny. Um, that's how small the town is. There's like a storage place called like Sue's mini storage and all the doors to the storage place are like the width of my shoulder. After I'm walking around for a little while, I'm sure that I didn't look suspicious with my gigantic 5D and my lens. So I needed to zoom into buildings that were a little further away. And I'm sure I didn't look creepy whatsoever. But I made a little friend while I was up there. This poor stray husky was wandering, wandering around the streets. Uh, I called animal control a couple of times or one, one of the animal services there nobody answered you know it's a super small town so services just you know probably i think most of them are closed uh today on sunday and um so he almost got hit like three times i tried to keep him off the road as much as i could i called animal services this beautiful dog um i hope he's okay but um you know, i had to go and um, i wasn't sure what else to call when i left he had sauntered off into some other properties um and uh yeah so I made a little friend while I was up there and then I had to get out, I had to get back down to LA to record this and to begin this diary process. Being a writer, I'm always stuck in my own head and I'd prefer to write with a partner, but my partner's been really busy working on a TV show. We haven't had time to really get together to write, so I'm reaching out to you guys. You know, I'm gonna be laying my story out here for you about Changelings. I always wanna hear my audience's thoughts about what they think, you know, about how the process is going or any suggestions, anything I might be missing. And you know, I love horror and hopefully you love horror because that's what this is gonna be about, this, this diary is making this horror film, Changelings. So that was my trip up to Fraser Park. I might go back in a couple weeks or a month, maybe as the seasons change so that I can see, you know, how things, you know, how the, how the environment changes up there. I'm feeling really good about this process. Now that I've explored a location, I'm gonna go back to the script. I'm going to enhance the script and keep working on it so that by the time I get to actually shooting it, it just feels like, you know, a real lived in place, you know. So uh, hang in there, guys, um, stick with me. Check back tomorrow for the next entry. I've got an announcement for the music regarding uh, the sizzle for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. And um, I've got, uh, I've got a composer for that for that sizzle track, and tomorrow we're going to talk about it. All right, guys, catch you later. Thanks for watching. If you like what I do here, hit that subscribe button, find me on Steam, and support me on Bitbacker. For only $2 a month worth of Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, you'll get exclusive content, early access to everything I do, and access to my private Telegram channel, where you can ask me any question you like about the process of making changelings with cryptocurrency. All right, see you there.